The chorus straightens out a bit and goes back to that 6-8 feel, and there's some descending harmonizing going on here. So you have an octave, that third in there. And then over the D minor, which is the minor five chord in G major. Now that's not a typical chord that you would use, but in G major, it has a nice feel to it. You've heard other songs with that in it, Revelation song, other ones. And over the D minor, does that same thing descending. Over A minor, C major, and then the same thing again on G major. Now we break up the chord to make it a little more interesting. So it's right hand. Left hand. And then over the D minor, it's a little bit trickier. Now that's a big stretch again, so we can also change that one up. So, left hand, and that D minor, I think on the album I actually played put the F in there. Sometimes when you're recording, you uh, make it up. Luckily, when Lila Bialy was singing background on that song, she hit that note, even though I was playing that note. She has such a good ear, it didn't even bother her. But uh, if you want to correct that and go to... It's probably better for your singers. Now for the A minor... a little thing here with the thumbs. See that third there? Let the earth rejoice Lifting heart and voice and The same thing as the first. <laughs> 